morning guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm talking a little bit quiet today because everyone's still in bed it's like half seven in the morning i'm really sleepy but it is the first of feb so this is going to be the first in my series of fit for feb and it's day one so i'm going to be working out five days a week straight which i'm really nervous for i'm quite looking forward to it a bit of a challenge um yeah so this is monday the first and I'm going to get started. First, I'm going to quickly show you guys a before picture of me um, and my measurements and also my weight as well. Just out of curiosity, this isn't about losing weight, it's about getting healthier. Um, but I just wanted to have all the information there so I can see how much difference this workout has made. Oh my gosh, you can see my rolls. Hey guys, so I'm going to do the before shots of my body so that you can see the change, hopefully, at the end of Feb when all of my little flubber jab is gone. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to do a few before and after shots that I've seen someone else do on YouTube and hopefully I can then recreate them <coughs> Sorry, at the end of February and we'll see changes, fingers crossed. Um, I've pulled these shorts down <laughs> to show you the extent of my stomach because otherwise, I don't know, it doesn't look that bad if you're not seeing the whole thing. Okay, I might regret this, but here you go. that is me as I am which is fine it's absolutely fine I just personally want to get healthier and lose a bit of that flub um I think all of my friends are going to be in shock if they do see this because I'm so petite I'm like five three and everyone thinks I'm so small and whenever I moan about you know feeling a bit fat they're always like okay <laughs> but you can see that everyone's got different bodies that is my body I'm a bit chunky but I am petite, so I don't look chunky when I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> okay, if I'm brave enough, hopefully you'll see this. Okay, I will see you guys after a load of workouts and hopefully I'm looking a lot better. <laughs> okay, without further ado, I'm gonna get on the floor. I'm gonna get moving. I'm really, really sleepy. I'm really sorry for my face. I've, I haven't, I literally got out of bed and was like, quick, work out. And then I can have a nice warm shower and get ready for the day. Croaky, I know. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Workout one, done. And that 10 second clip literally took me like a half hour and it was really difficult and it, the video made it look very easy and also like I wasn't doing much, which I was I was doing a lot, but there was a lot of resting. <laughs> I have to admit, I rested a lot more than she did, but that's fine. It was my first day. If you, as long as you do it, like I got to the end of it, but I just took a few more breaks. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a hot shower, have some granola, a smoothie, and maybe a green tea for breakfast, and read my book. That's my new thing for the mornings. I'll put the exercises that I'm doing down below her video um I'm not PT I'm not a good exerciser I'm not good at fitness at all um so my form's gonna be really bad throughout these videos so ignore that because I'm a complete noob so watch her video if you want to do the exercises as well <laughs> okay I will see you guys first thing in the morning again tomorrow morning guys so it is day two and I'm really struggling waking up I know it's only day two, but I think because we're in a pandemic, I haven't got to be anywhere. My mindset is like, well, I'll just stay in bed a bit longer because I haven't got anywhere to be. But I want to try and wake up earlier to do a workout and then get more into my day, even though I haven't got anywhere to be or anything to do. I just want it to feel more like a real routine. So I'm going to try. I managed to get up like 15 minutes earlier today. So I'm hoping that I'll get up at 7am tomorrow, but very difficult especially when it's dark out like I don't want to get up <laughs> um just a little update so I am already aching from yesterday's workout 
my inner thighs are dying. So when I was doing yesterday's workout, I noticed that towards the end, I was getting really weak on my legs because I think most of it is quite leg heavy and also balance, which I'm really bad at. So I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna be really weak today, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna take my mat, go downstairs so I can do all the jumping and stuff, which I couldn't do yesterday because it was just shaking the whole house. <laughs> okay, let's just get into it. And then I can have a hot shower and a coffee. That sounds good. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I just videoed my whole outro in a time lapse. One idiot. Oh, so, day two done. I'm knackered. It was really difficult. It went a lot quicker, I think, than yesterday. I think purely because I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew how many exercises there were and everything. But it still was really difficult. My abs were killing. I don't know, in that video that I just recorded, if you can see my face. It was bad. <laughs> but I just have to take it easy on the ab ones because a few years ago I had surgery and you know, all of my muscles were cut through, so I've had to rebuild them, and it was just, it's a long journey, so I have to be really careful with my abs, but I just took longer breaks. Um, I paused the video a few times because I didn't want to spend half of the exercise resting. I'd rather rest and then start the exercise and do it all the way through. I'm still so out of breath. Um, but yeah, that works for me. That's why I like it on YouTube, not a live class, because I can just pause it and take breaks when I want to, and it's not wasting the workout time. Okay, inner thighs burning, like really burning. I wasn't as weak as I thought I'd be. When, when I came into today, I was really aching, and I thought it's not gonna be a good workout because I was really sore, but I managed. It wasn't too bad. It was mainly after the exercises that I was burning double that's fine that just means I'm doing it right I think I hope I'm feeling it anyways so I will see you guys tomorrow morning again <laughs> hey guys so it's day three of my fit for feb challenge and it's actually I don't know if you see out there night time so I had a medical appointment this morning so I had to go straight to that basically I didn't have time for a workout so I thought before bed before I have a nice shower I'm gonna have a quick workout. I'm upstairs because obviously my dad's watching TV downstairs. I don't really want to disturb him. So I'm gonna do it up here and do like the low impact, I think it's called, version. So there's not as much jumping, but she did say it is just as good for you. So I'm sure I'll sweat just as much. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I've just done my third workout and it was the low impact one. Is it possible that I'm more tired doing low impact? I'm a bit confused. But I did find because I wasn't, well, I was still really tired, but because I wasn't doing the like high impact, like jumping ones, I managed to finish most of the exercises. Like the ab ones at the end were really difficult, but pretty much all of them I managed to do until she stopped which I wasn't able to do last time. So that's good. I think I'm improving there, but it really hurt. <laughs> like my abs were killing. So I think, I think the workouts are going a lot quicker now because I know what I'm in for. So I sort of know when I'm near the end, which sort of motivates me a bit more, I think, because it's not just endless. I know I'm nearly there, so I might as well continue. And that's pretty cool. But I think getting used to all the moves and stuff has really helped because you've got sort of, you know what you've got to do whereas whew, sorry I'm still really out of breath on like the first one or two I was still sort of learning my way of all the stuff that she does and now I know what to expect it's a lot easier to get into those positions when she says to I think that really helps <sighs> okay I'm really tired I really enjoyed that though actually I don't know why <laughs> it was hard but yeah I'm starting to really enjoy it and I don't know, I've been aching for the past few days, 
but it's kind of like a satisfying ache like I feel like I'm actually doing something which is nice I think it's really good that I'm doing this for YouTube because by now I probably would have said eh, nah I'll do a workout tomorrow but because I know I've got to document it and it really bothers me if something's not complete so if I'm supposed to do it it would really annoy me if I miss one day even if I'm like not feeling good so yeah I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this for YouTube, otherwise I probably would have quit by now. I'm not going to lie, I definitely would have quit by now. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning for another workout. Hey guys, it's day four and I'm just about to start my workout. It's evening again, mainly because I did my workout yesterday evening. I didn't really want to get up and do another one first thing in the morning, so I thought I'd spread them out and do the rest of the week in the evening. I am really looking forward to this workout. I'm not aching at all from yesterday. I was aching a little bit earlier, but it seems to have gone. So I'm hoping to do really well today. Okay, let's just get into it and then I'll let you know how I feel afterwards. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is day four done and dusted, thank God. Uh, I felt really good, really enjoyed it. I'm sweating so much, literally beads of sweat were coming down my forehead, which I think is a good sign. Um, I really did struggle with my balance though today. I don't know if it's because I'm more tired and my legs are a bit, you know, tired from the previous workouts. So we'll see how I feel on Monday after a two day rest. Um, I will at the weekend, I think, maybe do a little bit of balance exercises to see if I can get that better, but we shall see. It might just be temporary. I don't know. <laughs> also, please excuse my crazy eyebrows. I just dyed them. They will fade, but they're still very fresh. <laughs> okay, I will stop talking and I will see you guys in the morning. Nope, tomorrow evening for another workout. Hey guys, it is now day five and it's the evening. Boop. Um, I'm really tired. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I'm going to push through, see if I can get a good workout, have a nice shower and then dinner time. So can't complain. And then I've got two days of rest, which I might do a little bit of stretching or balance kind of thing. OK, let's jump straight into it. God. week one done look I'm so red so sweaty and my little curls are going nuts <laughs> I think I need to jump in the shower have a couple rest days and then I will see you guys for week two <laughs> guys and welcome to week two of my fit for feb challenge um i'm very tired it is monday evening i had two days off which i was able to eat whatever i fancied and for saturday i didn't have any chocolate i sort of forgot that i could have chocolate and then when i remembered i was like meh could take it or leave it so i left it uh, and then sunday i had a few rows of galaxy and I really wanted to have some more today, but I said no because it's Monday. Weekdays are not for chocolate at the moment. <laughs> Till March. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to crack on. I'm really cold, so I really want a hot shower. So I might as well sweat a bit first. Work off my massive dinner. <laughs> and yeah, get moving for this week. So I will shut up now. Let's just crack on. Um, I also managed to weigh myself because my dad got some scales. Um, I am 65 kilos. I think I should be nearer to 60, um, but I'm aiming for between 
uh, between 55 and 60 kilos. So that is like 10 kilos. Is that? I don't know. We'll see. I'll have a look to see what the healthy weight is. I reckon it's about 58, 59 for my height. Okay. I promise I'll shut up now. See you guys in a little bit. guys so that is day number eight I suppose because I had two rest days feeling good balance felt a lot better actually today so I think the more I do the exercises the more my body sort of knows what to expect apologies if that footage was completely wonky I don't know what's wrong with me I just cannot seem to get footage straight at the moment even though I've got lines across my screen I don't know <sighs> unless it moved maybe it moved <laughs> But yeah, so great workout. I'm looking forward to a shower now. I really enjoyed it. It went really quickly. Like, they're going a lot quicker. The more I do them, the easier they are. I managed to nearly do all the ab exercises for the whole time, which is really difficult for me. But I'm getting better, which is really cool. Um, I also didn't take as much rest as I usually do. So I managed to do pretty much how much rest she did with a little bit of extra in between a couple of the sets because I was really out of breath and I wanted to do my best but it's good if you can take as many breaks as you want as long as you get it all done okay I will see you guys tomorrow for my next workout hey guys it is now Tuesday the 9th and it is going to be my seventh workout uh, obviously with those two rest days um I have been walking for like a lot of the day today I've walked six miles because we're doing a um Brit 2021 challenge at work and we want to win basically so the more miles the better and I'm absolutely knackered because that was in like knee-deep snow basically um, and it was really fun really nice but yeah my whole body at lunchtime because I went out three times today split it up at lunchtime my body just felt like I'd done the most high intensity workout of my life <laughs> so wish me luck I'm going to jump into my workout have a nice hot shower and then rest for the rest of the day because I need it Okay, that's the end of my workout it was really good not too difficult I was aching a lot at the end but I am managing to take loads less breaks than I did the first week which is amazing which is what I wanted um, also with the ab exercises I'm just about managing to finish them all right to the end just might be pulling a few really weird faces because it is so painful <laughs> but yeah great day and another walk tomorrow and then another workout okay I'll see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, so it's day 10 for my 5th of Feb challenge and I'm actually not going to work out tonight. I promise I'm not being lazy. We went for a 5 mile hike this morning in the snow and ice. I was out for 2 hours non-stop, like literally didn't even have a break. And I came back and my body was just in pieces, I was shaking, I was cold and I'm absolutely knackered. So I had a shower when I got back because I was really sweaty as well. Like I sweated way more than I would if I was just doing a workout. So I was going to do a workout afterwards, but I just feel like my body just needs a little bit of a rest because it was a bit of a shock this morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed because I'm really tired. And then tomorrow I'm going to go for another walk. Not as long this time. And I will do my workout as well. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I'll show you a few pictures now of our walk this morning because it was really, really pretty. guys it is now fit for feb day 11 i am doing my workout it's night time again it's half nine at night so i should be in bed i'm feeling really tired today and um, that usually happens i tend to have a couple of days each month where i'm just really really tired don't know why i think it's hormones and stuff but that's just normal uh, i'm gonna push through and just see if i can get a good workout before bed the end of day 11 it was a really good workout in the end actually I wasn't as tired as I thought I think it's all up here um really really sweaty like beads again which is cool um 
feeling really out of breath, but that's fine. I managed to do most of the stuff. I've started to just do like the planking rather than the plank taps and stuff, just because I find it puts a lot of pressure on one of them, it's on my legs, and it feels really uncomfortable and a bit wrong. So to avoid that, I don't wanna injure myself. So I'm just doing the normal planks instead of the plank taps because I don't wanna end up injuring myself and then I can't finish the whole thing. So I thought it's better safe than sorry, and I'm still doing really, really good workout. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully not as late this time. For another workout. Hey guys, it's day 12 now of my Fit for Feb challenge. It is daylight, which is amazing. I decided to do my workout now before dinner so I can just chill out and we've got lots of WandaVision to watch tonight so I'm quite excited for that. I'm feeling a little bit shit though. My tummy it just seems to be huge at the moment, like getting bigger and bigger and I'm eating really healthy. I'm only eating meals, I'm not snacking in the week. Even last weekend I didn't have any snacks on Saturday, I only had a bit of chocolate on Sunday. And it's a little bit demotivating, I've been doing this for two weeks now. I started to feel a change, a lot of change on my legs, like I feel like they've lost a lot of weight, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Um, I put a loose t-shirt on, and even with a loose t-shirt on, it shows. So a little bit concerning, but I'm get, I don't know. We're just gonna see this month through, see what happens. Maybe it will eventually disappear. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I might need to talk to some PTs online, uh, some people I know, and just ask them what the heck is going on. <laughs> but I'm gonna crack on it anyway. Like I said, I'm not feeling great, but I'm gonna take it easy, get this workout done and have a nice shower. And then I can just relax for the weekend and hopefully come Monday, for week three, oh my god, it's gone quick. I'm gonna feel a lot better, fingers crossed. Okay, let's jump into the workout. Okay, that is the last workout of my first two weeks. It was really difficult. I'm the color of my trousers right now, like, I'm so hot and sweaty and just really tired. I really felt it in the abs, I struggled a lot today. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just something I'm feeling like today, maybe next week I'll feel better. So fingers crossed I can get back to where I was a few days ago because for some reason these past couple of days I've really been struggling, but we'll see. Okay, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna do a, not an after shot, but like a midway through this challenge shot. So like my before video, I'm gonna do the same thing, but for now, and I don't know, hopefully we'll see a difference. I don't know. We probably won't though, to be honest, but we'll see. Yeah, so I will show you guys that now. Hey guys, I'm now halfway through my Fit for Feb challenge and I wanted to do a quick update to see if we can see any change for the first two weeks. So first I'll talk you through how I feel different and then we'll do the side by sides. Okay. Right. So my belly still feels quite big. I feel like I haven't lost too much weight off of here. I feel like I've got a little bit more definition sort of on my rib cage, and you can sort of see my ribs a little bit on this side. Um, my legs feel like I've had the most difference, so they feel a lot more toned, and also my butt as well um, feels the same. So I don't know if I've lost any weight. I'm gonna do the measurements as well, which I'll show you on the screen. So feeling all right, literally don't feel or see a difference in the upper body. Maybe I will see it when I look at this. Um, I feel like my face is a bit slimmer, which is quite nice. I always find when I lose weight that that's where it comes off first, and this is where it comes off last. So hopefully by the end of the month, this will be like this, but we'll see. Um, yeah, let me pull this down so you can see. There we go. Yeah, so it's still a lot of squidge here. Maybe there's less, I don't know. We'll have a look on the side-by-sides. Um, yeah, I don't feel like there's much of a difference there. But I do feel a lot fitter in general, like running up and down the stairs, I'm not as tired doing that. So, I mean, that's good. That's If anything, that's good. Um, but yeah, still feel very squidgy there. Okay, let's do the side-by-sides.
okay guys that is the end of today's video and we are halfway through this fit for feb challenge which i'm really excited for i'm hoping that by the end of week four we'll see lots and lots of change so make sure you're subscribed and click the bell so that you get a notification when that one comes out fingers crossed it'll be really good and yeah i also do loads of cooking videos i do try-ons i do organization my channel is pretty much just a mix of everything that I do in life and it's not really specific to one thing which might be a bad thing but I don't know I just do what I enjoy so I hope you like that okay I'll see you guys in the next video Bad.